Hi everybody, welcome back to Cabin Creek Homestead. Today's project involved taking a perfectly good shovel and drilling a whole bunch of holes into it. And here's why. Our barn, on the upper part of our barn, it is all sand. We have tried um, pine shavings and pine pellets and straw and all kinds of different mediums in, in there. But I have seen where people um, have a really easy time of keeping everything clean by putting down sand. Um, but for the longest time, I have not been able to find a sifting shovel online anywhere. They're all sold out or they're back ordered or whatnot. But I saw a really creative person on TikTok take a very heavy duty plastic shovel and drill a whole bunch of holes into it. So I thought that was very clever and I wanted to try it for myself. What I did was I got a drill bit and I very carefully measured to make sure I found one that was slightly smaller than goat poop. <laughs> And the reason is I want to be able to collect the poop so that we can compost it in our massive composter and um, then turn that back into fertilizer and compost for our gardens and stuff and also keep that um, area clean. This will also collect all the chicken poop. Our chickens, we have now well over 40 chickens. Sometimes you have a bad day and you just need to go get more chickens. It's fine. So because we have a sand floor, I really need a way to be able to sift everything out keep the sand in there because that is expensive. We had a whole ton of sand, a literal ton of sand delivered and deposited into our barn. And so um, I need the shovel to be able to sift it out, keep it clean. And then every once in a while we apply lime into the barn. Lime or lye? Lime. What did the bag say? Lime. It's powdered lime. I'm going to go test this out and see if I drilled enough holes. And if I didn't, I'll just come back and do a little bit more. So let's go test it out. Hello. Okay. Well, although it was a good first run, it definitely did not have enough holes in it. The sand really collects here. You're naturally going to hold it a little bit like this so you don't drop all of your droppings, drop your droppings out of it. So I'm going to go drill in a few more holes and see if that makes a lot quicker work out of getting this done. More holes it is. Yay! <laughs> So that was my second attempt with the sifting shovel. I thought I went overboard with the holes. Um, I did not. I could easily put in a hundred more holes because if it takes this long, it's just not going to get done. That's just the truth. Okay, here we go. Back to drilling more holes. <laughs> like now looks like Swiss cheese we'll see how much faster this goes with it. I am 
imagine that a commercially made shovel would be a lot more visually appealing than my Swiss cheese shovel, but I'm okay with it. It gets the job done um, when the season is upon us and we are getting very, very busy. Um, aesthetic is not my main goal, although I do. Oh, you guys want to see something cool? Come here, jump up, jump up. All in all, I'm really pleased with my little Swiss cheese shovel. Hi, my girl. So that's all for today's video. If I were you, if you want to do the same project, start with a bigger drill bit and go ahead and start with a hundred holes um, instead of um, trying several times like I did. Um, more is better in this case. And uh, that is all from us. Have a wonderful day and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.